my name is Kelly McElligott and I have this short tutorial video on how to use the label creator tool in Koha to make spine labels. So what the first thing I would like you to do is when you're watching this video or after you finish watching this video, grab your sheet of labels that you're using and a ruler because those are the two tools you will need to set up the label creator to work for your library. I'm going to give you an example of a sheet of labels that I have here and I'm going to show you how to set it up. However, everybody has different um, labels um, from different vendors and yours could be different. Um, so once again, remember, once you're done watching this video, go ahead and grab a, grab a ruler and your sheet of labels and start measuring. So our first step into using the label creator tool is we're going to go into that tool and I'm going to go to my tools module and then in the center column um, there is that label creator option. Now the important part to remember there are a couple steps in creating labels. The first one you're going to do is you're going to create the template and so the label template is the actual size, the number of labels on the sheet, um, and whereabouts you want your text to live on that label. So the first step you would do is to create a new label template. Now um, it's very important to create a code and description that is helpful to you and maybe your fellow um, colleagues and when using this tool further down the road they know as they look at this Demco label sheet they know they're going to use that, um, that template called Demco in Koha. So once again, I'm using a Demco, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in that Demco, and I'm actually gonna put the code that comes on the box of the labels. So further down the road, um, if somebody else starts to do labels instead of myself, they'll know which one I'm using for which um, label. So again, um, I can put a code in and then a description just to be helpful to know what I'm using in the future. I'm actually gonna say this is a spine label and I'm gonna give it some dimension so again I know what I'm using and I know that my label itself is a um, one by three quarters of an inch. Now the next um, part you have to do is you have to determine how, what's the units that you want to measure these in. So I find it easier to do it in inches. Um, so then I'm gonna say the page and the page height and the page width so um, I'm ha I actually have a full sheet of labels. So my page height would be 11 and my width would be eight and a half. Now I know there are libraries out there that are using things like a zebra or a um, techno and those are those really small printers that do one label at a time versus having a sheet of labels. You can still use this tool doing that. Your page height and width would be the actual um, size of the paper that a label is held on and then you would do the label width and height. I'm going to put an example in the blog post of a partner that I know is using a zebra and her dimensions. Okay so then I actually need to see, say the label width and the label height. So again it's in inches so I'm going to do 75 and then it's a, a one by um, three quarters of an inch. My top page margin is how much of page before the labels start. So mine's a nice easy 0.5. However, if yours is a little closer to the edge, this is important where you have an, all those notches on that ruler. The left page margin um, is right how much page before the labels start. So again, mine is an easy 0.5. Then I have the top text margin. Where I, how far um, down on the label do I want the text to start? So I'm going to start with a 0.5. I find that the top text margin and the left text margin are the two that I will fiddle with the most to get those specifically to where I want them to lay on the label. But once it's set up in this label template, then it's, it's going to be saved for you. So my label um, left text margin is 0.125. Now it's saying how many columns and how many rows of labels there are. So I'm going to say I have a 10 by 10, so I have 100 um, labels on this sheet. And are there any gaps between the columns and rows? Mine are flush, my labels are flush against each other, so I don't have gaps 
between the columns or the rows, but if you did, you could go ahead and, and um, put that measurement in. Now this profile, um, we can set up a printer profile in the Koha system, and if you are using a printer and you find that it's um, going to the left or the right when it feeds in, we can always create a printer profile and tell Koha how the printer feeds it and try to fix that little skewing. And that's in the printer profile. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to pop over to that printer profile and that's in the new as well. So I can go ahead and, and create a printer profile giving it a name, how the paper is distributed, whether that's through a bypass tray or tray one, um, and also what that offset or creep is. Now, my next step is what I'm going to put on the label, and that's called a label layout. So right here, I have um, under new, I can choose layout. And this is where I tell Koha um, what I want on this actual spine label I'm creating with this Demco um, spine label sheet. The layout name, again, is very important because um, it will tell you um, what which one you're going to use when you create a label. Um, the barcode type, this is would be important to put in if you were creating barcodes. This tutorial will just be about spine labels. I'll create another one using that barcode um, so you can create barcodes. For the, our purposes today, we don't need to pick that. And then we have this layout type. Quite a few of these include a barcode, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to say that this is a Biblio layout type because I'm going to use things from the Biblio item. Next, um, what bibliographic data is do I want Koha to print and in what order? So I have options of like title, author, ISBN, ISSN, item type, barcode, item call number, and I can choose um, where they are on the list. I also, if I didn't want them, I could put, a, put that blank in there. Also, I have the option of choosing list fields. So here, I could include any other Koha fields that weren't listed on that first option or mark subfield. And I will put in the directions of this blog post the schema and some online an online access so you know what you can include. So instead, I could just go ahead and say, hey, I just want that call number to show up. The first test um, that I usually run, I say, yes, please draw the guide boxes so I can see how Koha is, to, is figuring out the layout that I've given it, as well as the template and how they work together. If I wanted to um, have those call numbers split in that Library of Congress, I could go ahead and split those. And then whether I wanted a center justification or to the left or to the right, what type of font I would like the labels to be created in, and that font size. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now that I've created the label template and the label layout, my next step is to create a batch of labels that I want to print. So I'm going to go up here and hit new and I'm going to pick label batch. I could enter barcodes or item numbers here. Again, I could just scan them in. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to plop in my barcodes into this um, text box, and I'm going to hit Add Items. Now here I can see the books that I've um, scanned in. I can see the call number, and I can choose which barcodes, which spine labels I want to um, print, or I can say export that full batch. So if I wanted to just pick one of these, I could pick one and say export selected items or I could hit export full batch and it will grab all three of those. Now this is the key, is to tell Koha with these barcodes what template and what layout do I want it to choose. So we made a um, Demco and then I did a spine call. So I'm using the Demco sheet, I'm using that spine label um, layout, and then where on the sheet should I should Koha start the, bar, um, the spine labels? Is that on the first label position 
or have I used the sheet halfway and I need to start look further down? Once I hit export, it's going to give me a few options that I could download it as a PS, PDF, a CSV, or an XML. And I'm going to go ahead and see what that looks like and then I can go ahead and print. So there I can see that I have my three spine labels um, using just the call number. And I can see that the grid boxes just help me know that Koha can um, figure out what this actual layout and template and how they work together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, which is a production of BiowaterSolutions.com. If you have any ideas of other videos you'd like to see produced by us, please let us know. Thanks for watching.